Hey everyone, welcome back to the farm. Today we're gonna have the perennial showdown. I'm gonna take you through the farm and it's not gonna be very exciting to look at, but I will show you some pictures so you can see what it looks like because I do this to save money on my pots for like winter and spring. My daughter wants you to know that we are getting ready to set up her little baby pool so that I can get some of my pots planted and switched out for a uh, summer. So, okay, that's that's how I'm gonna entertain her for, for this next little bit. So let me show you some of the pots that are kind of shabby looking from winter and spring. And I'm getting ready to pull those out. So a lot of those are perennials. So I use perennials mostly in winter and spring because it saves money. They pull double duty. They look great in the pots, like all winter long or all spring long. And then you can pull them out and put them into your landscape. We are still building up our garden here, down over that way, and even the landscape here a little bit. So I always try to make everything pull double duty uh, because in those seasons, they're not going to be something that puts on like a ton of weight in a, in, you know, a small amount of time. So let me show you my window boxes. Kind of sad looking, right? <laughs> That's cause they're ready to, they're, they're done. They're done for the spring. This is what I did for the spring. So, um, I will put a picture up here on the, the screen so that you can see what they looked like in their full glory. And they were just stunning. So we had some tulips. We have the pansies. Of course, the pansies are doing well still, and I, they're not going to make it in the heat. So we're just going to pull those out and I'm going to freshen up the soil. I see a little bee there. These, I really don't remember the name of them. I wish I would have had a tag. I don't think I saved it. But man, they were beautiful. Perennials will come back next year. So I'm going to put this in the ground. So there's one, two, three in each. This is a weed here. But there's three of those in each. Plus I had some tulips uh, that you saw. And here's the bulbs. So I'm going to take those bulbs and I'm probably just gonna put them all in the ground. You can overwinter them like in a shed or a garage. Whenever you uh, plant them, you wanna make sure you let the leaves die back like this in the sun uh, so that they have all the energy they need to put on their show for next year. So I think I have one, two, three, four of those in each. So I'm gonna pull those out plus these out and I'm gonna plant them all together in the garden so that next year I can have the same show just in the ground. For summer, I use mostly annuals because they just put on a bigger show. They like the heat, they take off very fast and they just fill out. Whereas perennials, they take a couple years to get to their full uh, glory, their full size. So they're great to use temporarily in those and then put them in the ground and then you can enjoy them for years to come. Let me show you my pots at Mommy, the front door. That. Okay, so I usually put ferns in these and I do need to go and get those. You can watch the video on how I care for my ferns during the summertime to get them big and beautiful. One way that I do that is I repot them. <laughs> so this is a U and I'm actually going to take that out. I always like to do here at the front door some uh, winter interest that I can like put Christmas lights on or that will look great all winter long. So actually this has been in here since last fall, uh, late fall. And um, so then I did like red pansies for the winter time and then I pulled those out and I spruced it up with some spring items. So I have more tulips that I put here and I don't know if I have a picture of this, so I'll put it up there if I do have it. And I really don't know the name of this either. Are you checking this out with me? Yeah? <laughs> they were so pretty. Oh my gosh. I, I, I don't even remember what these are called. So we can just kind of cut this back and, and leave this part in the ground and it'll probably stay. It actually looks like it might almost bloom again, but we'll cut this back. We'll put it in the ground. And it had these beautiful, I mean, it was loaded, loaded with these blooms right here. I'm sorry, am I in your way, ma'am? <laughs> and then I did some more pansies to kind of, uh, you know, go off my window boxes since they're right down there. And then these are primrose and they were yellow. So I had the yellow 
and the bluish and the pink and then the tulips right there sticking out of the side and then I just mimicked them over here. So we're gonna spruce these up with some ferns and then put the flags back in for Memorial Day. What do you think, E? Is that pretty? I did get my toolbox. I just put this away for the winter time and I bring out a, um, a stand here and I put our wood on here for the fireplace in the kitchen. So I did get this out and I brought this out. I think these are the honey petunias. I think they were the honey ones. They did have a little bit of white flies. Mm -hmm. And so I sprayed them with an organic spray. And then these are the Rocapulco. <laughs> you picking my flowers? I need to spray them because it looks like a little bug is getting them. Uh, these are the Rocapulco uh, Proven Winners Impatiens and they do sun or shade. And so I've got four of those, three of the Supertunia honeys. This is all proven winners. You know I love my proven winners. And then this is, um, is this the Wicked Witch? I feel like this might be the Wicked Witch. Uh, again, proven winners, coleus. These variety from proven winners actually go sun or shade because a lot of, oh, there's a bug in my hair. Hold on, sorry, it just flew into me. Uh, these, uh, coleus, other varieties, they like shade only, but the proven winners can do sun or shade. Of uh, the color, col I'm sorry, the color blaze series can go full sun. Okay, so we have window baskets that I'm going to be planting up here in the next couple days, and uh, so. I, didn't pl I don't plant those up. I usually will shove some stuff in them for fall, like my hydrangeas and some grass stems for fall, and then I just take them down for the winter to save money. I do want to go show you my pots of the road because there are a lot of perennials in there from winter. They've been in there all winter and they have looked great. I didn't even change them out for spring. Okay, we are two days later. Sometimes a project with children that should take 20 minutes takes oh two days to get done so that's kind of where we're at I think I left off at uh, gonna show you the road pots which we will do that very last because I want to get all of this stuff planted up I want to show you what I have and I went ahead and dug out everything from the planters at my front door and the window boxes and then I'll show you what we're planting in the window boxes okay so real quick here we've got all of my tulip bulbs that I plant that I dug out of the window boxes and then I have the we had a storm so it kind of got messed up here but I have the primrose and the two those pretty pink plants that were in my front door pots I'm gonna put those in a drift right here with the tulips that were in the pots at my front door and then the the other ones that I don't know the names of these I'm gonna do a small drift of these here, I think only five of them came out here. It's kind of made a mess because the storm, but anyways. So we're gonna do just a small drift of those right here and then I'm gonna interplant all of the tulips down in between all of that. And of course I set this bag here and it's super heavy so I need to move that so you can see. But it's gonna be a nice little springtime drift. This blooms in the springtime a little bit later this one just finished up so it'll be nice to kind of have this going super early and then this come into bloom when I plant up my window boxes I like to use this sun grow professional growing mix it's compressed and so you dump some of it out into the wheelbarrow and put some water with it and it fluffs up really nice so let's go over here and I'll show you what I've got in the window boxes. So I don't take out all the dirt, especially if it's still good. I mean, there's just no point. That's waste. It's dirt, right? So we want to recharge this with some of the Espoma Biotone Starter Fertilizer. It's going to recharge the soil and then it's also going to be really great for the roots to really get these going because some of them are still kind of early and there were some little buds on here. These are ready to be planted. So let's take a look. This is what I'm planting and how I'm planting it up. Okay, I'm gonna turn this way so that I can show you. So I have two of the Diamond Snow Euphorbias. So I'm doing pretty much the same thing that I did last year. These are beautiful and they, I mean, look at these things. They've been in the pots for quite a while sitting here at my garage. And they're just, they're beautiful. They put on like this nice moundy, airy show. So I have one of those 
on each end of the window boxes. And I did three, one, two, three of the Tropical Shades Rockapulco uh, Impatience from Pro Proven Winners. So they kind of get like this corally color. I'm pretty sure that these are the ones that I used last year and they didn't turn out that orange. So we'll see what they actually come out with this year. They were like a nice tropical pink. So we'll see. This this tag looks orange. So um, so I have three of those against the back side, and then I have three spillers in the center. And so these get kind of tall and we'll take up the center. And, and then I have my moundy little uh, frilly stuff on the end here. And then in the center, I've got these spillers that will come out over. So we have two of the Supertunia Bordeaux, which are so pretty. And they do really great in window boxes and uh, uh, planters. These, the Supertunias, have I planted these in the ground? Yes, I did. These do really great in the ground as well. Um, some of them do better in planters, uh, but these do good both. I've had these in the ground too. So um, I'm going to give all of this that biotone fertilizer today to kind of get this going. I bought these from a greenhouse that they start them there and there were little buds on them and I think they'll be fine and they'll come back once I get them planted here. But they do great in the shade or the sun. This gets pretty much shade right over here because of the house and the way the, the sun goes across there. Uh, so these do great. So I plant these here all of the time. And then right smack in the center, I have the Proven Accent Sweet Lime, Sweet Caroline, Sweetheart Lime. <laughs> Sweet Caroline Sweetheart Lime. And it is the, um, like a sweet potato vine. And so I love it because it's got like these smaller little sweet leaves on it. See how much smaller those are than the big like sweet potato vines that you get. And uh, so that's just going right smack in the middle there. These I got from Amazon and they are self-watering. So what I do is I kind of overfill them with water and then I really don't have to touch them for like like a week like it gives me a week's time I do eventually want to run drip we have a faucet that was installed over there <laughs> where's my finger and then um, I want to want run the white drip lines to each because I'm terrible if you've been watching me for a while I'm just I'm terrible at watering stuff I love to plant I love to plant a lot when it comes to the watering I'm terrible at it okay so there we go we're gonna get that one planted and then I've mimicked the same exact thing over here. This one definitely gets more shade and I will step back and show you kind of what it looks like. You can, the tree is getting so big that you really can't see it from this angle here, but coming down from our driveway, you really still can see them quite a bit. Um, the hydrangea will get much, much bigger, but It'll be nice to have, even though it'll kind of block it from certain views, it'll be nice to have from like this angle coming in so that you can see everything. I'm going to go grab my Biotone Starter Fertilizer and then I'm going to get all of this planted up using my soil over there just to kind of top dress and kind of set them in there. And then we'll go take a look at the pots up at the road. Okay, they're all planted. Not very exciting right now, but I promise they will fill in so, so much. When you go to the garden centers, spring for the Proven Winners brand because they, they just, they will fill in and you don't have to get so much. All of this will like jam pack out this window box. So I take each of one of my tags because we know I'm not gonna remember what these things are. And I take them and I shove them at the back corner way down deep. So that way I know, you know, what did I plant in here? And I even leave them there through the winter time. So that way if I'm like, oh, I want to uh, mimic that again, 
what did I plant? <laughs> I can pop out here and I know exactly where they are. And now I know what the plants are so that I can plant them next year. All right, it's starting to get dark. So I, look at the pretty sunset. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, let's walk up to the road and look at these pots because there's lots of perennials in here and all of those are gonna come out and go into my garden. And so it's pulled double, actually triple duty because it's been in there for several seasons. So let's go check it out. Everybody is happily munching away. Dippin' Dots hears me talking. She's like, what are you doing? <laughs> We've got a crowd of three and a crowd of three. Okay, so these are beyond due to come out, but look how good they still look. They look so full. And even though we're past spring, I didn't even touch them for the spring. These have been in here all winter long. So let me tell you what's been in here. So this is a ornamental kale that has pretty much gone to seed now that it's getting hotter. So that definitely needs to come out. We've got an arborvitae tree right here. And then let's see what we've got. Um, a hellebore, which was so pretty. That was the color of it. It was like more of a reddish color. You can kind of see the backs of them. Uh, that's what it was on the front. And then they still look like they're in bloom. I love these. They Technically, they like the shade, but for wintertime, they were fine up here. So I'm going to take these out and put these in the shade. These I'm actually going to reuse. I'm going to clean them up just a little bit, and then I'm going to reuse them in my summer pots. And then we have heather, and I dug that out of my garden, and some lamb's ear that I dug out of my garden. I am finally done with this two day long planting project. That should have only taken 20 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm gonna sit on the porch and just enjoy the evening. I hope you come back because we are going to be planting up those road pots, my hanging baskets, some other pots that we've got around here and I've already got the stuff. So, and then planting some stuff in the ground. We've got more to plant in the garden and more fun horse stuff on the way. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and you can ring the bell so that you don't miss any new videos from us. I just saw a lightning bug, yay! So glad it's summer. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.